Welcome to Big Road Freight. In this video, we'll provide a quick introduction to the features and screens in the Big Road Freight app. This video is for dispatchers or anyone else at your company that manages the drivers in your fleet. Open your Big Road web app and click the hamburger menu in the top left corner of the app. A new option exists called Freight. Click on it. The first time that you access Big Road Freight, we will ask a few quick onboarding questions so we can set up your fleet and match you with the right loads. First, provide your phone number. Next, set up your fleet. Drivers that have already completed onboarding will show up here. Set the equipment type for each driver and click Save. Invite your remaining drivers to join and we'll send them an email so they can opt in and join your fleet. Lastly, accept the terms of service. You are now in the app. The left side has a menu bar that shows the main screens of the app. Access any screen by tapping on it. We'll discuss each of these features in more detail in the videos after this one. The first screen is called My Loads. Think of this page as your personally tailored load board. All of the loads that we've matched to your fleet will show up here. At first, you may not see anything in this section, but as you begin to search and request loads, the app learns the types of loads that you like and begins filling this screen with matches. Moving on to the search section. If you don't see anything you like in the My Loads section, you can search to find loads on your own. Click Pickup Location. You can select Shipments Nearby to find loads near your current location. As a dispatcher, this is helpful if you are working from your company yard and are looking for outbound loads. Otherwise, enter a pickup location and hit Enter to search for freight going in any direction. You can also get more specific by setting a drop-off location, choosing if you want local, short, or long-haul trips, or opening the filter to specify additional information or change how search results are sorted. Next comes the Drivers tab. This section allows you to view your drivers manage their settings, invite new drivers, and request loads specifically for an individual driver. The right-hand side shows a map with each driver's location. This information is also shown under each driver's name on the left-hand side. You can also invite more drivers to your fleet from this page. Simply click Add New Driver, enter their email address, and click Submit. As a reminder, they'll show up on this page after they have gone through onboarding and accepted the terms of service. Looking at driver 4 as an example, note that you can click the gear icon to manage permissions for each driver. By default, drivers can only see loads that you first send to them. They cannot use the app to search for loads on their own unless you change their permissions here. Click on a driver to open up their page. You can update their equipment by clicking this pencil. The most common options are shown, but you can also click the drop down menu to select other equipment. At the bottom of the screen is the request a load button. Requesting a load is like search, but designed so you can tell us when and where your driver will next need a load. For instance, if this driver has a current load delivering in Chicago tomorrow, Request a load in Chicago beginning on tomorrow's date. Request loads for any location and any date in the future, later today, tomorrow, next week, or next month. We'll start finding loads that match where this truck is going to be. Just like with search, enter a pickup location and hit enter. You can now click send request to find freight going in any direction or add a drop off location. You can get even more specific by selecting the date your truck will be available and other information such as when this request should expire or your preferred deadhead. When you send this request, it will show on the right hand side of this page along with your current active requests. If you found a load, you can delete the request by clicking the three dots in the top right corner. 
Clicking the back arrow in the top right corner takes you back to the driver page. There are two tabs on this page, Available Loads and Recommended. When we find a load that matches your request, you will receive an email and the load will show in the Available Loads tab. Check this section every now and then to check for new loads. The Recommended tab is similar to the My Loads page. It is a personally tailored load board that shows loads matched specifically to this driver. Just like with the My Loads page, you may not see anything in this tab right away, but you will start to get matches as you request loads. Lastly comes settings. You can view and change your settings by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner of the app. To edit any section, first click the pencil icon. Make the appropriate change and click save. Click the pencil icon again to prevent accidental edits to this section. Other than phone number, equipment, and preferred rate, the key sections are documents. Upload your carrier packet in this section so you can easily email your packet and quickly get set up with a new broker or shipper. Operating lanes. Tell us your operating lanes to help us find the best matches for your fleet. And communication preferences. Manage your preferences if you want to use the app but reduce the emails that we send you. Returning to the My Loads page, we'll review what is shown when looking at a load. We can see the pickup location, date, and time, and the drop-off location, date, and time. The equipment required, the price, and the trip mileage or distance. When you see a load that interests you, click on it to get more information. Look at the bottom right corner to get the contact information of the shipper or broker who posted the load. You can also share your carrier packet with the Share My Documents button. And easily share this load with your drivers with the Share button. Every load that you see in the app can be shared with a driver of your choice, whether the load is found in My Loads, Search, or on an individual driver's page. Select a driver and click Send Load. When you send a load to a driver, they will see everything they need to pick up and deliver that load, but the pricing information and contact details of the broker or shipper will be hidden. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch our other videos for a more detailed look at each of these features.